just going to get rid of a bunch of this with a bandsaw. Just tape, taper it off because I know I've got to get rid of at least that much. Detective Special is the same thing as a Cobra, except the Cobra has an aluminum frame and it weighs five ounces lighter. So this is a customer's, this is mine. So I'm going to use this as a pattern to chisel off the excess on these grips. These are just roughed out with a bandsaw. I'm waiting on some screws to come through, some, some connecting screws where I can uh, actually bolt them together and drill my holes for them and everything, but for right now, I'm just going to put it in my clamp anyway, my vise. I'll just set it on there and then I can work on this thing. overhang where the sand I can sand next to that and this angle will be a lot more round this is a very pointed I'm just starting with the, where this comes off on a smooth flow there's a curve to this back strap and I'm just coming with a smooth flowing of that curve that's all I'm doing
This burl grain is wild. You have no clue which direction it's going to you dig into it. Just like Forrest Gump's mom and the box of chocolates. Alright, the edges are cleaned around and the um, the angle on the bottom is cut and actually sanded. So I'm going to pull it back off of there and do some hand sanding on it. I'm going to have to make a little uh, pedestal for it to sit on. I could just hold it in my hand, I guess. trying to determine the thickness at the mounting screw hole to make them both the same and right now this one is 0.4 I'm sorry point 0.396 is four thousandths less than 0.4 and this one is thicker than that this one is 0.42, so this is 25 thousandths too thick. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna file this one down a little bit. Get both of them the same thickness at that spot. Just a little explanation. This is a piece of rock maple. Hard as a rock. It's got a real good slick smooth side. I'm putting that on the back side of my grip to where the machined edge on the back side doesn't get little dings around the edges of it. Alright on the front side I got a piece of real soft pine. Just just a piece of a paint stick that I made. And so the front side I want soft, the back side I want hard. Different kinds of wood have those qualities in, in different uh, amounts. So that's what I'm after is nice and soft on the front, very good and hard and flat on the back. I need 15, about 14 thousandths off of that. Still need about seven thousandths. I'd rather sneak up on it and try to do it all at once. You try to do things all at once, sometimes you overshoot the mark. Alright, now I am three thousandths too much. I can live with that. Now I've got my thickness at the mounting screw correct. I've got the outside shape sanded correctly. And so now I'm going to start the shape. First thing I'm going to do is shape the, the oval on the bottom of the grip itself. Right, I'm, going to, I'm going to determine a shape on the bottom, the oval on the bottom of the grip. And I'm going to make me a, a template this is a piece of laminated plastic. It's that double layer stuff you put documents inside of and heat it. Well, this is just a clear sheet of it. I don't know where it came from, but it's good and stiff. So the straight edge of this paper, I'm going to put with a straight edge on the back side of my grip. 
and I'm going to make a template. It'll be shaped like a D. I'm going to start with a pencil line. And I'm going to shape that out with a file, and then I'm going to trace what I have onto this piece of laminate. And then I can move that to the other side. These things have a front and a back, arrow points front. All right, that's my that's my template for the butt silhouette. If I did these things all the time, I'd make a metal one with a little edge that dropped down over that and hooked on there and then it came out over here and you just scribe around it real easy. But I'm too ADD to do anything all the time. <laughs> 